Aging is a controllable process that can be slowed down and even reversed. Hi, I'm Dan. Welcome to my channel Technology and Startups. Today we'll discuss about slowing down aging, why I kept a sensor under my skin to monitor my blood sugar, and why you should always eat your vegetables first and dessert less if you want to live longer. There are a few things that improve longevity. Fasting, getting enough quality sleep, healthy nutrition, exercising, and a few others, such as cold exposure, less stress, avoiding cigarettes, etc. In this particular episode, we'll focus on nutrition, and more specifically, the role played by blood sugar. Why reducing glucose spikes is one of the most powerful things you can do for your health, how to monitor it, and a few amazing food hacks that will literally change your life. What are glucose spikes, and why are they bad? These spikes happen when your blood sugar rises and then falls sharply, usually after you eat. We're all familiar with eating a chocolate in the middle of the day, thinking it will give us energy, which happens only for a few minutes, because soon enough, after, we feel tired and get even hungrier, without getting too much into the science behind it. What has actually happened during these spikes? We age faster. Each glucose spike leads to glycation, which is a process that ages our body. When we spike, our mitochondria becomes overwhelmed, start producing free radicals that harm our cells, which leads to oxidative stress and inflammation. Now this is really bad, because inflammation is the root cause of most diseases. Last but not least, the excess glucose gets stored as fat, so we gain weight. But threatening the glucose curve is not just about slowing aging. It also helps with more energy, better sleep, less hunger, improved immune system, and just better overall health. I'll add a link in the description where you can read more about the science behind it. Now that we agree glucose spikes are bad, the question is how can we avoid them? We cannot improve what we can measure, so let's get into the tech behind it. There are many types of glucometers, mostly used by people with diabetes. What's new these days are the devices that can monitor your blood continuously, which gave rise to a few interesting startups. Companies like Very or Levels are trying to help people lead healthier lives by showing them in real time their blood sugar levels. This is me playing with Very. By measuring my glucose levels and by inputting data on the food that I consume, I can start to understand how my diet affects my metabolic health. There are two innovations worth mentioning. First of all, you can understand in a personalized way how your own body reacts to different foods. Two people can react quite differently to the same meal. Here are some examples with salmon, oatmeal, and sushi. Secondly, you get to see in real time that it's not just about what you eat, but how you eat it, the order, the time, and how external factors like moving, exercising, fasting, influence your blood sugar levels. Here is a comparison from my own experience. Eating an omelette menu versus eating the same omelette menu with more bread and dessert at the end. Trying to learn more about the topic, I discovered one of the coolest Instagram accounts. It's called Glucose Guys. Don't get fooled by the name. This person is doing hundreds of experiments with glucose monitors in order to find the best food hacks. This helps you in two ways. Firstly, to make the right choices. Here are the differences between toast and avocado versus patisserie, or omelette versus fruit smoothie, or two glasses of champagne versus a sugary cocktail. Secondly, how to combine foods in a healthy way. Example, add avocado on the toast, eat edamame before the sushi, have a salad and then the fries. All of these help you reduce these glucose spikes. I suggest you check your account for more examples like this. But if you want to remember three principles for healthier eating, here they are. 1. Avoid sugar. And if you really want to have a dessert, do it right after a meal, never on an empty stomach. 
Two, add more vegetables to your meals and eat them first. Three, go for a walk or move a bit after the meal. To summarize, glucose spikes are bad and affect your longevity. You can control these spikes by learning how your body reacts to different foods. There are several tech startups that help you get personalized nutrition advice with continuous blood sugar monitoring. Nevertheless, if you're not comfortable with a small needle in your arm, try to at least follow some basic principles of healthy nutrition. Let me know if you enjoyed this episode, as I might do a few others on the topic of tech and longevity. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, more vegetables, less sugar. Thanks for watching. Stay healthy.